Hi everyone, welcome back to Trees and Turtles. My name is Imogen and in today's video I'm sharing some small habits that can change your life. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do that, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and let's get started. This video is going to be in two sections. The first one is going to be like really basic sort of habits that probably have been mentioned a million times on YouTube and as such I'm going to go through them quite quickly. They are quite basic but I do explain them in other videos so if you're like confused about anything drop a comment and I'll explain it, all right? The second is gonna be more unusual tips that I think are maybe more interesting or more impactful, but anyway, this is the section for basic habits. You need a morning routine. You need a gratitude journal. You need to hydrate, eat well, exercise, okay? Start reading, read more books. You need to reflect daily, whether that's through mindfulness, meditation, journaling, whatever, okay? You need to get quality sleep. Go to bed on time, turn your phone off. Random acts of kindness, be nice to someone, it makes you feel good. Learn something new, be reading, w listen to a podcast, watch a documentary, do a course, always be learning something new. Time blocking, put all of your tasks together and block out a certain amount of time that you do them in. Okay, mindful breathing, pay attention to your breathing, breathe deeply, take a minute to just take five deep breaths in and out, it will make you feel better. Social connection, go see one of your friends or pet a cat, I don't care. Interact with another creature of some description. Financial awareness. For example, put five pounds to your investments or savings every week. You can start really, really small. Educate yourself, learn about how to budget, how to save, how to invest. Decluttering. If your room is a mess, your mind is a mess. Okay? I've done another video on minimalism. That's all I'm going to say. Posture awareness. Be aware of your posture. I am only now just thinking I should probably sit up a little bit. Okay. Be aware of your posture. Now I can actually talk to you. Right, that's the end of the first section. Now for number two. And these are like more unusual tips that I have found. And I think they might be helpful for you. The, the number one, the number one, number one is a silence hour. So dedicate one hour a day to complete silence. Um, so no music, no podcasts, no talking. This can help you appreciate really quiet moments and enhance mindfulness. You, know, you shouldn't be like watching anything. You can sit and read if you want, but it's just you've just got to be in complete silence, okay? And it can really help like calm your mind. If you're an overthinker, it might take some time to get used to. I understand that. I am an overthinker, but silence hour. If you're feeling really ambitious, try a whole day. But that is like pro level. All right, random acts of creativity. Set aside time each week for a random creative activity. And so one week, one week it might be like cross stitching, the next it's like painting, and the third it's like, oh, like flower arranging. I always use that example. But the point is, you should try different creative things. And it could be like drawing, writing, crafting. It doesn't have to be something like super out there. Um, but yeah, be creative. Set time aside to be creative because it stimulates your brain and it will make you a happier person. Right, number three, embrace rejection. So there's a great book on this called Rejection Therapy or something like that, I'll link it in the comments. But anyway, um, the author basically went out and attempted to get rejected from stuff. So he was like asking people to do things and he was trying to get into places and he was trying to get rejected to overcome his fear of getting rejected. He was basically like exposure therapy on speed dial. Um, I, this, is, this is a great book, but anyway, the point is purposely seek out rejection. Um, it can be like once a week or it could be once a month. So you might ask for a discount or make an unconventional request. Um, the point is it can help build your resilience. So embrace rejection. In a way, I'm actually seeking to do this through my YouTube channel because every video I put up is in a way me asking for rejection because sometimes I'll put up a video and it gets 11 views and that like, I, I love all of those 11 people, but sometimes my video will get like 600 views. So in comparison, that is a rejection, and I'm like, oh, okay, so what can I learn from that? Alternate routes, take a different route to work or other routine destinations like uni, school, whatever. Um, so it can open up new perspectives and break monotony. Sometimes, even though like the route through town is actually longer, I will actually walk through town um, on my way from my house to my uni campus because you know, sometimes, well, sometimes I have errands to run, so I have to, but also I get to go like over the river and it's really pretty. Anyway, the point is try, try a new route. All right, sensory explanation, explanation, exploration. Um, so you've got five senses. Some may argue for the existence of a sixth sense, but anyway, you can choose one sense each week, sight, sounds, taste, touch, smell, for a reminder, um, and consciously focus on enhancing that sense. So an example could be if you are listening to something, you could make it a point to listen to new music or try a new podcast or sit and listen to the bird song in a park. So that's how you could enhance like 
hearing, okay? Compliment a stranger. Don't be creepy, but um, if you have the opportunity um, to make it a habit to genuinely compliment a stranger at some point. So it doesn't have to be something about their physical appearance, and it probably shouldn't be. Um, so ways I have complimented strangers in the past include, oh, you absolutely like slayed at that sport. Like you did really, like that's amazing. You did really well. Or, oh, I love your website. Um, one time, actually, you can you can sometimes compliment strangers on how they look if it's something that they chose. Like, if you say to someone, oh, I love your hair colour and it's bright pink, then that's cool. Um, some One time I told a girl that she looked like a Pinterest board and she thought it was great. Um, so, for example, that's something about them that they chose, okay? So, compliment someone. It doesn't necessarily have to be a stranger, but if you're like willing to get out of your comfort zone a little bit, but also like pick your moment because sometimes people just want to be left alone. So if someone looks like they want to be left alone, don't be a dick, leave them alone. All right, no complaint day. Try a no complaint day. Designate a day when you refrain from complaining at all. Instead, focus on finding solutions and positive aspects. That's kind of all I got to say on that one, um, but it can actually really help you. Unplanned day, okay? Occasionally have a day with no set plans. You've planned to not do anything or plan to be spontaneous. So allow yourself to go wherever the day takes you. Do what you feel like doing. Be intuitive, okay? Inbox zero ritual. Um, establish a unique ritual where you achieve inbox zero, okay? So you go through all your inboxes and then you get like, I don't know, a snack or like an episode of your favorite show. Okay, so reward yourself a little bit. Sometimes I will zero out all of my inboxes. That's my personal one, that's my Gmail and my uni inbox. And then I'll be like, oh, this is great. Um, it doesn't happen very often, maybe once a week. Anyway, take a comedy break. So incorporate a short comedy break into your day. Watch some comedy, listen to some comedy, anything that makes you laugh. Watch a hamster video. I used to have a video that I, well, it's probably still on the internet. Anyway, there's this really like chunky hamster and he's like sitting on a ledge and gradually he falls asleep and then he falls in a tube. It's really funny. Anyway, the point is it made me laugh. So find something that makes you laugh. Nature observation. Spend a few minutes each day observing nature around you. So it could be watching birds, clouds, or simply feeling the breeze, okay? Go outside and walk barefoot on the grass if there is somewhere that's safe to do so. Experience nature. Go, like, climb a tree. Right, plant a surprise. So secretly plant a flower or a small plant in a public space. If you, obviously, if you're allowed to. Like, don't go planting something in someone else's garden, because that's weird. But I'm talking about, like, at a park. If you find, like, a little area under a tree, plant a bulb, um, and then, like, come back every so often and watch it come up. That's cool. All right, two more, handwritten notes. Handwritten notes, I used to have a load of pen pals as a kid, I don't anymore, but I would kind of like to get back to that because it's fun to send someone a handwritten note or a card um, and it makes them feel special, it makes their day. So try that. The final tip I have for you, random learning, okay? Dedicate a specific time each week to learn something completely random and unrelated to your usual interests. So obviously I'm learning from my, for my degree, but also I recently got a book on the history of bisexuality, which is, like, I mean, obviously it's related to my interest because I am bisexual, but the point is it was something that's outside my normal, like, learning sphere, and it was just really refreshing and a really good read. I'll actually, I'll link it in the description box if you're interested. But yeah, dedicate some time each week to learn something completely new and unusual. Right, those are all of my small habits that can change your life. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do that, give this video a big thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!